Well, hello everyone, and welcome back here to Minecraft. Something a little bit different this week. As you can see, I'm I'm certainly not on Iris, and I'm not on Arcadia. I am, in fact, in the wild and wacky world of Pixelmon, which is Pokemon done Minecraft. Um, if you are a follower of uh, Mod 1982 or the Pastafarian, you should have... Ooh, Nether portal, yay! I haven't been through the Nether yet. Uh, you should have seen the first couple of episodes where we had to look around and we uh, had a first few battles. I drew one because of a bug and I lost one because, well, talk was cheating, I'm fairly certain. And, uh, I'm going to have a quick run around here today and. I'm going to answer some questions about what is Pixelmon and why we're doing it and who am I and where we all went wrong and... Me. 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 Who are you? Who are you? Me. Okay, we're going to start off with a Pokemon fight. What's this say? Me. Oh, this is a Poke Ranch. We're not going to have a fight. Anyway, as I've been trying for the last five minutes, let me introduce my co-host for today. The hostess with the most S, Andy Ray Sims. Hello, Andy. Hello, Andy. Oh, dear. <laughs> that, joke, that joke never gets young. Yep. Okay, so, Andy is interested in playing Pixelmon and playing po uh, Minecraft in general, but wanted to ask a few questions. I think starting with what the heck is going on. Yeah. yeah. So so let's let's have a have a little talk about Pixelmon, what we can do, and while we're asking questions I'm gonna go and look for a, a few more Pokemon and perhaps build a little bit more of my house and and things like that. So Okay, so what sh what what did you want to know? Okay, so first of all what is where are you right now? What is this place? This is a Poke Center. Okay, so, no. does it. Yeah, yeah, tell me more. Okay, a Poke Center is the place where if your Pokemon are injured, you come here to these uh, these healing bays and you can heal up your Pokemon. Okay. If they're fainted or uh, injured, they'll all get healed up, any status effects are removed, and anybody who's played Pokemon knows that the other things that Poke Centers do are. They allow you to go and trade Pokemon. So if you were with another trainer here, you can come to the trading machine. Like this, I can put one of my Pokemon up to trade. They put their Pokemon up to trade. And we can trade or not trade as the case may be. So nice. I can trade my Bell Sprout for a Magic Carp or something equally useful. And the final thing that each Poke Center does is it gives you access to a PC. So if you don't want to carry around say a spin arc, you can put it into the PC like that. Or if you actually really want a spin arc, you take it out. Mm -hmm. And that way you can organize your Pokemon teams. Great. Okay, so we've expanded this one a little bit. And there's a few other bits and pieces in the back which we've looked at. So the gym badges are stored here, guarded by a zombie pigman. Hello, zombie pigman. <laughs> and down here, and I imagine it's accounting for a lot of the lag, is a portal to the nether. And I'm terrified to think what Pokemon you can find in there. So, let's have a look. Sorry, ask questions. I had a question about getting Pokemon. Okay. Like, do you have to be a certain level to get it? No, um, it, it's totally honest with you, unlike Minecraft where it's you who makes the difference, in Pixelmon it's your Pokemon's level, so it's exactly the same as the game, the, the trainer doesn't get involved other than earnestly throwing his pets into battle and mm -hmm. telling them to okay. come back with your shield or on it, preferably both. Oh man, this is so laggy today! Uh, okay, so in order to get more Pokemon? Yeah, you, how do you get Pokemon? You well, you start off with a Pokemon. You start off with a, a starter Pokemon. Mine was Bulbasaur. 
which you can see on the left hand side hmm? of the screen here we've got four Pokemon I've got a Bulbasaur I've got a Pachirisu a Bellsprout and a Spinarak Mm -hmm. Okay, so I started off with my Bulbasaur and got into various fights. And if you can wear the Pokemon down far enough, you can use one of these Pokeballs or variations thereon to capture that Pokemon and add it to your team. So basically, the Pokeball is a mind control device. Isn't that nice, kids? Isn't that nice? <laughs> Don't try uh -huh. this at home. Yeah, so. <laughs> but because this is Pixelmon. There's none of the usual mobs. There's no zombies or creepers or anything like that, but there's loads of Pokemon. These two were having a fight and appear to have disappeared. But oh. this guy. There it is. Let's see if we can let's see if we can attack him. No, I missed. This is this is actually really quite annoying. You've got to be close enough. You've got to hit the Pokemon. There we go. Right, actually, it uh, looks like this Spinarak has attacked me. That'll do the trick. So, I'm fighting a Spinarak, which is a level 10 um, bug type, with my Bulbasaur, which is a level 14 grass type. Uh, okay. Because of the various types, actually, the Spinarak has an advantage, but I think that my Bulbasaur is tough enough to get through this. So, we'll start off with a, a Vine Whip. So, I used the Vine Whip, and it didn't do that much damage. Okay, and the spin rack uses constrict, which, as you can look down here on the right hand side, has did quite a little bit more damage than I did. Hmm. So this time I'm going to use a tackle, which is a normal type attack, and as you can see, that did quite a bit of damage to him. Okay, so he's going to do a bit of damage to me, but I think tackle is the way to go. So we'll do a couple more of those, and I think we'll win. If I wanted this spin rack, now would be a good time to throw a ball. Aha. Okay because his health is down to uh, the red, but I don't, so... Barbasaur, punch him in the face! There we go. And Barbasaur gained 179 experience points, Yay. which was not, unfortunately, enough to level him up, but... Let's try... I want this Murkrow, so let's try to fight him. There you go. There you go, managed to hit him this time. So my Bulbasaur is now fighting a, Mur uh, a Murkrow. Now, Murkrow is a flying type, and they have a bit of an advantage against grass types, but still. Uh, what I want to do is... I'm going to start off with a Leech Seed, which is an interesting attack, which drains health from the uh, the opponent and uses it to heal up this uh, my guy. But, as uh, Bulbasaur is a grass type, he's getting his buttocks handed to him, which if you imagine Bulbasaur buttocks are a bit scary. So, we're going to switch. Yeah. Um, so I have four Pokemon. I have the Bulbasaur, which you've seen already. A Pachirisu, which is an electric squirrel. Don't know where they got that idea from, but they got that idea from somewhere. A Bellsprout, which is another grass type. And a Spinarak, which is a bug type. None of these are particularly good against flying types, but I'm going to bring out the Pachiritsu anyway. So, as you can see on the right-hand side now, I've switched with Pachiritsu. All right. So, again, and now you can, if you look here, you can see him hopping up and down in the water. So, okay, now. So this time, fight. Pachiritsu has Growl, um, Charm, they both lower status, Quick Attack, which just does damage and spark, which is an electrical attack. And considering they're both in water, let's do something really, really stupid and do an electrical attack. Oh, I killed him. Oh. Never mind. I received a feather mine. What, are, what do feathers do? Um, a feather is a normal Minecraft feather, so I could use it to um, craft an item like an arrow or something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's carry on looking for Pokemon. Game. Okay, so that's that's pretty much the game. It's Pokemon in Minecraft. It's a great idea, if you ask me. Um, I call mods. It's a bit slow and laggy, but it's not that bad. Magikarp. Carp, carp. Magikarp. 
So, fight, let's poison him. Let's see if we can get his hit, hit points down slowly. So, Bulbasaur uses poison powder, which poisons the Magikarp, which means every turn he's going to lose a few hit points. Okay, now, Magikarp can only do one attack. He can use Splash, which does no damage. So all I need to do now is hold out for a little while while his hit points get down to nothing, which is precisely what I'm going to do. So let's do a leech seed. Let's heal up my bulbs for a little bit. Who's that? I don't know. What is that? That's probably a trainer. Oh, okay. Okay, so we're healing up there. Fight! Uh, let's do another poison. It won't do anything because he's already poisoned. Uh, as you can see, we've got his hit points down about half now. Right. Fight. So you could throw you could throw a bolt at him. Not yet, but I will soon. Okay. When is a good time to throw a bolt? When is when the, the the health bar gets down to uh, um, red? So one more, I think. Fight. Let's do another poison. It won't make a difference. But. There you go. Those hit points are down to red now. So this turn, we go into our bag, and we go to our Pokeballs, and we throw a Pokeball. And Simon Parsons threw the Pokeball. You captured Magikarp! Yay! The most useless Pokemon in the entire game is now ours. But the thing about Magikarp is it evolves. Pokemon evolve. Ah, okay. What is that? And that happens when they hit certain levels. Okay, so and that, that, yeah, that varies from Pokemon to Pokemon. But Magikarp, when it evolves, evolves into Gyarados, which is a massive, massive. Oh dear! Just got attacked. As you see, this one's level 27 and mine is level 14, so I think I'm just going to run. Yeah. Run, flee! There we go. Right. Oh, and I got attacked again instantly. Run! Let's get away from that Togetic. I don't want to fight that just yep. yet. Okay, yeah. Um, a Magikarp evolves into Gyarados, which takes it from one of the least useful um, Pokemon of the game to one of the most useful Pokemon in the game. Mm -hmm. Gyarados being this large lightning breed. Oh, a Caterpie! Oh, I want that. I want that. Okay. Okay. Let's get this Caterpie if we can. Fight. Just do a poison powder. A bit of a graphical glitch there. Yeah. Okay, so let's do another leech seed. Okay, these status effects will just take its hit points down a little bit every turn. And I think one more should do that. Uh, well, possibly two. Okay, it's already poisoned. Can't use poison powder. But, mm, close. Right, come on, you can do it. Okay. Let's give it a try. We've got one chance now. Uh, back, um, uh, bag. Use our last Pokeball. Let's see if we get the Caterpie. Yeah, we caught Caterpie! Uh, uh, Alright. Yay. So, I have a question. Mm -hmm. How do you make the, the bulbs? That's a good question. I'm glad you asked that. <laughs> I will show you when I get back to base, which... We're going to do now. In fact, I'll tell you what, we're going to cut out at this point and I shall see you all back at the Poké Center. Right, okay, and here we are back at uh, where I'm building my home. It doesn't look like much at the moment because it's not much at the moment. Um, it's kind of square, apart from that bit, which apparently I missed. Aha! Um... So, you asked me before we cut out, how do you make Pokeballs? Well, um, sitting on brambles tends to do it. But other huh. than that, you do it with these things. These are apricorn bushes, and you, you harvest them for apricorns of different colours. Okay, so there's a yellow apricorn, and so on. 
And these are used to make okay, um, cooked apricorns. So we'll take three of those. And cooked apricorns are used to make... Bear with me for this, this takes a while. Are used to make... Let's go to the crafting bench here. Pokeball discs. Oh. Okay, and then you take some metal. Mm. And you make iron discs. And then we're going to want some smooth stone. Wait, do I have any? No, I, I don't have any. So let's make some smooth stone. So pop that in here. One, two, three, four, five. So we'll let that cook for a minute. And we'll need some buttons. But we're not quite finished yet. We're going to need... We're going to need to shut that diglet up. <sighs> Be quiet, diglet. Be quiet, or my my wrath shall rain down upon you. <laughs> so we need a hammer. And while we're we're busy ignoring the diglet, um, we shall go and use this little anvil here, which is a, a slightly different recipe from the normal anvil. So you take your, your your disc, you put it on top, and you. Is it? Wait, where'd you go? Okay, and you. Ah, I keep on right clicking. You got a left click. So you, we're hitting it. Dink, dink. Okay, and that becomes a. Just look here. It becomes a pokeball lid. So we'll do that with all these. Oh, I see. So it's like you're taking a disc and you're making it sort of half, a half round or a yeah. round. Yeah. So we'll do it with all these. Doink. Doink. Okay, and... You need to do it with these iron discs as well. So we'll put one of those on there and we'll... we'll Okay, so we take that there. We get these the stone, and you can use the smooth stone to make some buttons. Okay, so we'll make five buttons there, and then you make the pokeballs with a button, a lid, and where do they go? A base makes you a pokeball. Okay, so I'll make all those up later on. The different coloured apricorns make different coloured pokeballs, so you can make ultra balls or love balls, which sounds rude, and so on. Yeah. Okay, so... Do the different colours mean anything? Yeah, uh, the different coloured pokeballs have different effects. Uh, some are better at capturing... Oh, I see. ...different types of Pokemon. Some help them heal, some help them reproduce, lots of different things. Um, just like the, the, the Pokemon game itself. It, was, you know, it started off with one Pokeball, I ended up with 150 of them. Okay. Uh, don't tell me that Diglett laid an egg. That's just worrying. <laughs> oh, good lord! Level 49 Pikachu! We are running away from that! Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, okay, that's, that's it. This is... Yeah, this is Minecraft, but it's Minecraft about Pokemon. So, you know, I'm growing my crops. I got my taters growing down here and some corn. It looks like while I was logged off, something fell in here and killed off a lot of stuff, so I'm going to have to replant. But you capture Pokemon, you you, you gyms, the, uh, the players are making gyms, and you build yourself some houses to live in and raise your Pokemon, as I'm doing here. This will be an ongoing um, journey for a while, so I'm going to dig this. This is going to be an atrium, and I'll have various rooms coming off this. And uh, this will be where I live down here in this uh, in this ravine. And I shall go out and catch Pokemon, which, as you see, I've got here. So I should really reorganise these. I don't know if I can can I, sw I can swap them around here. That's excellent. So now Magikarp is always at top. So Magikarp will always be the one that goes into the fight first. Right. Uh, which means the first thing I'm going to do in any fight is change the Pokemon. <laughs> but because he's been in the fight for one round, 
at the end of the fight, you'll get experience. Very good. Yes. So you can change you can change Pokemon's when you in in mid fight. You can. Okay. Right. Um, it might it might let's say you have a Pokemon that's actually low in you know about to die or whatever. Yeah. You can switch them out. Okay. Or like you've put, you've got a Pokemon that's got a, a better attack against a particular Pokemon or something like that. You can switch them easily. Let's see mm -hmm. if we can find a fight quickly. There you go. You'll do. So I fire off my Pokemon. Let's go. Let's try that again. But I actually hit him. Oh, you're being a pain in the buttocks, aren't you? There you go. Fire! Okay, so there we go. Uh, my Magikarp is now fighting a Spinarak. Problem is, the Magikarp can do one attack, Magikarp. Splash. And let me show you. It's this good. Magikarp <laughs> used Splash. But nothing happened. Uh, because he's not in water? <laughs> no, it's because it's blooming useless. Oh, darn. Okay, so first thing we'll do is switch, switch Pokemon. This is a bug type, so... It'd be really nice if I had a flying Pokemon. I don't, so Magical. I'm going to use Pachirisu instead. So Pachirisu is going to be a good one. Go, Pachirisu! Okay. Oh. He didn't do much damage. Unfortunately, he didn't sting, but fight! Spark! Pachirisu used Spark! Spinrack fainted. So we won the fight quite easily there. And as you can see down here, Magikarp gained experience and Pachirisu gained experience as well. Great. Okay, so quite quickly, if we do it this way, Magikarp will get up to... I don't know what level it is, level 30 or something. And mm -hmm. we'll evolve into Gyarados, and he'll go from the weakest Pokemon ever to one of the toughest. Right on. And then we'll and... start going places like this, which is Pasta's Pokeball Place, which is the shop for buying Pokeballs. Um, which is, if you're too lazy to buy them, you can go in here and this all oh, this is tastefully decorated, isn't it? Let's get out before I go blind. Um, and we're building gyms as well. Wait, that place was to purchase where you could purchase yes, po the Pokeball Shop. Oh, okay. I told him he should have called it past his secondhand balls, but he wasn't listening to me. Oh, what can you say? Well, some people it, just don't listen. Mm -hmm. Sorry, did you say something? No. <laughs> okay, so I think that's all about what we've got time for. So. Well, thank Ooh. you for letting me come along. It's really interesting. My pleasure. Have I talked you into playing it? Yes. This is very, very. Come, it's very fun. Come fun. back, Harold. Where are you? Come back. Yeah, Good. Where do you go? Well, we'll see you next time. Then we'll see you next time. Then next time we're here on Pixelmon. Hopefully, you'll be joining me. Like to. Okay, you are more than welcome. So, until then, thank you and good night. Good night. Bye. What I'm going to do now, in fact, I'll tell you what, we're going to cut out at this point and I shall see you all back at the Poke Center. The main reason for that being, I am completely lost. Okay. <laughs>